gamers, I'm going to show you how to get every single huge in Pet Simulator 99 right now. So first things first, we're going to open up the teleporter, we're going to head over to the Pirate Tavern World number 27, and we're going to start the first process there. You're going to go and head right over to this thing where the fishing area is, and yes, there is a huge in the fishing area, if you guys didn't know this. It is the huge Poseidon Corgi. To get the huge Poseidon Corgi, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's a little bit boring. That's why only one person in the entire game has one. You guys are going to need to get the best fishing rod that you guys can possibly get, because it's going to up your guys' chances. And basically, all you need to do is, is fish. You just toss that bad boy in there when that little, uh, little little bobber thing is there, and then you get stuff. You get coins, you get uh, enchantments, you get potions, all that kind of stuff. And like I said, the higher the level of the rod, the better the chance you're going to get at getting a Poseidon Corgi. It takes a long time, and it's probably why there's not very many of them, because it's probably the most boring huge to get. Anyway, moving on to the next one. And conveniently, it's right as you leave the fishing area. So you're going to jump on over this way here. There we go. And it's right over here at the dig site. The dig site has a chance to spawn a huge fossil dragon. Probably one of the coolest ones in the entire game for sure, but the chances on this one are also very, very slim. Now, I've done a few videos and shorts on this on how to get to the very bottom of this dig site, but essentially, guys, you're going to need the best shovel in this game if you're going to get to the bottom. And uh, the downside is, is the lower you guys get, the tougher your shovel is to dig through the, the next block. So let's just keep on going down the bottom here. If you guys want to keep going down... Let's just get past these ice blocks here. This block gets pretty difficult. I'll uh, get that chest. The next block gets pretty tough, and then you guys start getting into a thing that looks like dirt, and that's pretty much impossible to break through unless you guys have either the golden shovel or the, the $250,000 shovel as well. And that's when you're going to start seeing your, your odds increase significantly to get that fossil dragon. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, next up, we're going to go and open up the teleporter. We're going to head over to World 45. That's the lava forest. All right, here we go. And three, two, one, boom. Okay, so the the chest rush here at World 45 it gives you a chance to unlock the huge fire horse. And I ain't gonna lie, guys, this one is very difficult to get because you gotta have a lot of power on your pets. You guys can get all sorts of cool stuff from this. Now, real quick, everybody, I've seen a bunch of YouTubers talk about this, that if you add a bunch of your luck boost before you go into here, it's gonna help out your chances. Guys, That that's not the case because check it out. As you guys know, these books increase your egg luck not the luck when you guys go into events like this. So as you guys can see, this says 0.94. If we go in to grab this book, it still is 0.94. If we grab a bunch of these books and do a bunch of luck, here, where's the other ones? There they are. It still says 0.94. This one says 0.94. So these books don't help you in this particular situation. What you guys are going to want to do, you guys want straight power when you guys are going in here because you need to be able to wreck those chests as fast as possible. If you guys have a bunch of apples, you're going to want to eat those now. If you guys have a bunch of the rainbow fruit, you're definitely going to want to eat those. But other than that, let's just run in there real quick. I wish you guys could use a hoverboard for this, but uh, we, we can't. Now, we can't activate any of the, the boosts on this either, which is kind of a bummer. So let's just keep on doing this here. Let's see if we can get a fire horse from this. And obviously this goes without saying, guys, but you guys have three different fire horses you guys can unlock. You can get the regular one, you can get yourself a golden one, or of course you can get the rainbow one, which would be nice. But the odds of those are extremely, extremely low, guys. So make sure you taper those expectations. All right, let's see if we got a fire horse. Did we get one? No, of course we didn't get a fire horse. Anyways, guys, after you're done with that, you guys have a two-hour cooldown on this one, so you guys can complete this again. Let's go ahead and open up the teleporter and head back to the spawn area. Here we go. All right, three, two, one, boom. All right, let's go ahead and head in the uh, in the castle area. So this is a spot where there's a, a huge that does spawn in here. The jackpot prize is this huge cat. Um, the, the chance of this are incredibly small, guys, so I wouldn't recommend you guys really pay attention to this. Just kind of spin it as you guys get the tickets, but I wouldn't really focus on it because you guys can get one inside of this as well. If you guys have a bunch of pets from Pet Sim you guys want to throw into the huge Atron, you guys can go and get yourself a huge egg from this as well. Moving right along to the next method here. So here's the next one, guys. Now, once again, not one of my favorite options in the entire game, but I'm going to show you guys anyways. So take a look up here, guys. They do change this every single day, but you can get a huge from your best egg. I wouldn't even try this until you guys get to number 63 because the chances are just so incredibly small. There is something cool in here that you guys may or may not know about, but down here on an achievement called Egg Extravaganza, if you guys click this, you guys can see that every time you guys open eggs, you guys can unlock this stuff. If you guys open 750,000 eggs, I haven't quite done it yet, you guys get a huge hunter, which is an exotic book, and it increases the odds of getting a huge by 25%. Like I said, not my favorite method, but it's one of the methods nonetheless. All right, moving on to the next one here, guys. So this one, you do have to have the VIP game pass in order to do it from this angle. There are a couple other spots in the game that you guys can do this and get out of the map, but this one's the easiest. So all you're going to do is you're going to head over here. You're going to fall through the map right there we go. Perfect. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over the place on 
on YouTube, there's a thing called Stairway to Heaven. Now, here's the thing that a lot of people don't know about the Stairway to Heaven. There was actually a developer that jumped into the game files and started messing around with it and trying to figure out what in the world this is all about. Apparently, guys, these are all RNG, which means every time you run up a section of these stairs, it is randomly generated that another pair of stairs is going to actually spawn. There is a small, small chance that when you guys just randomly get to a certain spot of these stairs, it does spawn an area where you can go get the huge angel dog. Now, it's not 100% guaranteed, and you'll never know when it spawns, but you could run up these steps for 10 hours, for five hours, for two hours, and there's a chance that a huge angel dog area could spawn. So, if you guys wanna waste your time and run up these stairs, by all means, go for it. But the chances of this are also very, very small. All right, moving on to the next one. And the other obvious reason, everybody, is heading into the trading plaza and grabbing yourself a huge from one of these. Right now, there's a lot of people that don't really know what to sell their huges for. Like, this one's selling for 1.1. Uh, let's see if there's any other ones here. This one's got, this one's for 10 million. This one's 2.5 million. I made a video on how you guys can get some diamonds and involved like getting these rainbow dominances, getting a whole bunch of them made and then sell them at the trading plaza from anywhere from eight to 10,000 gems. Uh, those or the cats, if you want to sell the cats for 6,000 gems, you guys can do that. I wouldn't spend any more than about four to 500 gems on a huge hell rock, but it, it's totally up to you guys, depending on what huge you're going for. You could definitely come in here and snag one of these. The easiest method to get yourself a huge in Pet Simulator 99, everybody, is just comment your guys' Roblox name below. And I'm I'm gonna pick a couple of you guys to give some huges too. And all you guys gotta do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy yourselves. I hope this video helped you guys out. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.